Hello there and a very good afternoon to you. Welcome along. Um, isn't it warm? What it is here? Probably not where you are. Um, we have Caroline first in there. Hi Caroline and Jean, hello to you and Carol and, Han and Helen and Mandy and nobody on YouTube. I don't know why. Um, I hope we're connected. Let me know, won't you? Um, Beverly and Sandra and Janet and Anne, hello to all of you. How many are you there? Is it 162 already? Um, oh, Kirst Kirsty's having late lunch in the garden, with the, in the sunshine. Oh, a Ruby, Coco, Ruby, Coco, bobbing, bobbing sunbathing. Um, hello, Joanne from Scotland. Oh, we've got 50 people on YouTube. We are there after all. Not sure about the website. Doesn't seem to be. Um, should be up and running with a new website in a few weeks' time, which is very exciting. So hopefully um, the, uh, the issues with going live on the website will be sorted. Hello, Lynette in South Africa. Um, still winter over there. Is it cold still? Um, Lois is going to Scotland from Norfolk tomorrow. That's a bit of a drive, isn't it? What's that, about six hours? Um, hello, Sue, or good morning to you in Brisbane. Oh, it's so warm. Are we, are we frozen again? We did this last week, didn't we? We're back again. I had to reboot on Saturday morning. Let me know what's going on with you. And if you can see me okay, I seem to be going out from, from this end all right. Oh, happy birthday, Carol. She's 60 today. Haven't seen any pictures, Alan. Freezing on Facebook. I'm blaming the weather, you know. I'm going to turn my fan off. I don't know if that interferes, but you never know. Sunny in Manchester, lovely. Nobody there on YouTube yet. Okay, I'll carry on for a bit. And if it gets to the stage where, like it did on Saturday, where you just can't bear to watch me anymore because it's freezing all the time, um, then let me know and we'll have to stop and start again like we did then. Mouth isn't in sync with my lips. That's quite, in, uh, quite entertaining sometimes, though, isn't it? Um, Julie. So I'm sunning myself in the garden, Jen. I've only got to walk past a light bulb and go this cold. I don't have to sun myself in the garden, for goodness sake. Um, right, I'm going to see if I've got a message from my daughter to say reboot mother. It's freezing off and on. Mary's over. What's going on on YouTube then, Mary? Is it freezing over there as well? Alana's got me on YouTube TV and Facebook and the phone. I'm all over the place in her house. Right, I think um, I think we've got problems again, haven't we? Hello, Dietza. So warm. Right, I'll carry on for a bit, but do let me know, all right, if we've got problems over here and I'll, um, we'll have to go away and come back again like we did on Saturday. Hello, I don't know where Speedway is in the USA, but it sounds very glamorous. And I don't have any messages on YouTube, so I'm sorry if that's not working properly. I'm, I'm just, just going to carry on. Um, right, I've got some back in stocks for you. And this is really exciting because we have the mulberry tree fabric back again. Um, and we've got lots of it. Um, but there again, we normally do have lots of it and we tend to sell it out on the same day. Um, it's been both in um, by the half metre. So you could buy, if you buy two units, it comes in one piece, four units, two metres, all in one piece. Um, or you can go for the two half metre packs that we put together, which I think are a little bit more affordable. So back in stock right now. Right. So I just thought I'd, I'd let you know that one. We also have the Sunflower Fat Quarters. And oh, first time on TV for sure. Um, these are another back in stock. So we, we don't have very much of the fabric by the half metre, I'm afraid, but we do have the, um, the fat quarters back in stock again. So that's really good. Um, and we've got some brand new fat quarters as well. These are the bright colours. They've got the reds, yellows, bright green, purples and the turquoise. So really nice colours to kind of keep in your stock. Um, in your collection, as we call it, because we don't have stashes. We, we have collections of fabric. It sounds a lot more plausible, doesn't it? Um, so that's that. I'm going to make a bag in a bit, if you're wondering what the sewing is going to be in this hour, um, using Decaville 
firm because I've been getting lots of questions about the difference between the two different decavils and, and fusible foams and fusible fleeces and different weights. So we're going to going to tackle that in a bit. Um, Speedway is hang on a minute, where's that? Speedway Indiana USA, not Speedway in US. Sorry, Silver. Um, handles not yet. They are on order, Christine, but they come from the Far East, so it's probably going to be next week before we can get hold of those. Are we having problems commenting on YouTube? I've got nothing on there at all, um, which is unusual. Normally, somebody somebody says something. It must be me. I know. I'm I'm melting, um, Debbie. In, in my new place, when we move and we build a new studio, I'm going to have an air conditioning unit. At the, at the moment, I've got this. And I've got my mate Ruth over here, and she's going to sit and do this in a minute as well. She doesn't, she doesn't know that yet, but that's, that's what she's going to do in a minute. She's making bunting. She, my friend Ruth has a big birthday coming up at the end of the month. And, uh, and she's making bunting to fill a park, is what she's doing. One of those birthdays with a naught on the end. Um, right, so new fabrics. These are again brand new today. They've only just gone on the website. So if you haven't been on the website in the last hour, then you won't have seen these. Do you remember the um, oh, the pink elephant fabric bundle that I brought you last week? I've got the blue version of it. It's a slightly different fabric, um, but it's still the elephant. So it's from the same range. And we've got cutest little elephant. This one's got the clouds on it. And then we've picked up the green and had a bundle put together with um, with the green as well. So that looks like a lovely quilt. These are pre-cut, so you get half a metre of each. But if you're doing a bit of patchwork, then um, that, that's fine. You've got plenty of fabrics to be able to do that with. It's muggy and chipping Sodbury. For goodness sake, it's roasting hot here. Mind you, I don't, I don't like... Um, I don't like a, a bit of muggy. I don't know about you. I don't mind hot, I don't mind cold. But a bit of muggy, it's not... It's not desirable, is it? Um, universal needles, but don't know which ones to get. I, I, I don't, I don't mind prim. We do prim and um, can't remember the name. We do two brands, um, but I think they're they're pretty much of a muchness, really, with needles. I don't, I don't normally go for the big brand with needles. I just get the needles in the size that I like. Sunny and Thornbury. Um, YouTube's fine. Got two black bars, apparently. Oh, have I done that? Didn't even know I'd done that. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> um, Lois's hair's going pink like a toenails. Okay. Oh, I've missed loads of your... Um, hi, Zell. Um, your um, messages, so sorry about that. I still can't see anything on YouTube. Um, anyway, so that's one new fabric. We then have perfect pairs. With perfect pairs of fabric, and in fact with all of our bundles, we pick out fabrics that just work really well together. And these are again pre-cut half metres with the anchors and then a navy. All of these fabrics are 112 centimetres wide and they're all 100% cotton and they're crafting cotton. Um, Alana, I would, I'd go for a packet of needles with a, a range of sizes in there. They, they normally do with universal needles. Um, and the higher the number, the stronger the needle is. So use the higher number for thicker fabrics and the, uh, the smaller ones for finer. It doesn't, doesn't make too cool and foggy in Cornwall. Um, hello, Linda in Ohio. Something else special. Where did I put that? Where did I put my fan? Andrea, remember the, um, the, my Japanese, I'm doing this in a minute, a Japanese knot bag, um, the elephant fabric, the elephant mandala fabric, we can't get any more of that at all, um, the, it's completely out of stock, but we have got a similar fabric, so if you've missed out on the elephant mandala fabric, we do have a similar one, but we haven't bundled them together this time, um, if you're not aware of what the bag is, it's this one. 
Um, so it's reversible and it's just a Japanese knot bag so you thread the long strap through the smaller one to close it over and it's quite a nice size. We did bring you kits with the elephant fabric which included the fabrics and the H640 and the pattern but this time you've got the pattern on its own, I think it's 7 99 the fabric on its own because I'm imagining now a lot of you have already got your patterns and you're wanting extra fabric, you don't want to buy the whole kit all over again so we've just had them s split down so they're separate. Um, so you will need your H640, you'll need your pattern if you haven't got it, and then look at these. Now these are already pre-cut again, you don't have to make the bag with them, you can make whatever you like, but these are 60 centimetre wide pieces, because you'd need a little bit more than half a metre to make the Japanese knot bag. Um, hello Brenda in Ontario in Canada. Um, so we put these two together. So you can make a lovely reversible bag, but if you wanted to use these for cushion covers or homewares or quilting or bags or anything you like, then it's your, it's your fabric. You do what you want with it, don't you? So that's that. Now, on a different note, we have some new dressmaking fabrics. These are beautiful. It's a brand new supplier we use them. And these are, um, it's a UK um, company that we're dealing with and these are UK designed as well and they are beautiful lawn fabrics. Now if you weren't aware, let me just explain before I risk you melt into a puddle on the floor. Um, craft, uh, crafting cotton or quilting cotton is what most of our fabrics are so these will be a, a quilting weight of cotton. Um, they're all 100% cotton, they're just different weights. Quilting weight has a slightly looser weave than a poplin. Um, poplin is more geared towards dressmaking and quilter's cotton more towards patchwork. Um, a looser weave because it makes it easier for those of you that like to sew by hand to actually pass the needle through the fabrics. So your um, quilting cotton will feel quite 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 firm. That's that's what it's like. It's lovely quality, but it, it's quite firm compared to a poplin. Now a poplin has a finer thread, but there are more of them. So you get a closer weave of a fine thread, which gives you drape, which is why poplin is really more suitable for dressmaking than quilting cotton. Quilting cotton would make a really nice shirt um, or something that is um, quite tailored. If you're making a pencil skirt um, or something like that, um, kiddies dress is absolutely fine. But if you're using a poplin for something that's gathered for puff sleeves or a, a floaty skirt or something like that, then you've got a little bit more drape with it. But they're still 100% cotton. This one particularly is gorgeous um, because it's brushed so it's lightweight it's fluid it's incredibly soft all 100% cotton perfect for your dressmaking but it's just so soft because it's been brushed and when you look closely it's actually a twill so a twill has not just a, um, a warp and a, ve a veft, a warp and a veft, but it has a diagonal weave as well, a little bit like denim. Denim's a twill, but again, this is really soft and lightweight and fluid and gorgeous. And by the half meter. So if you wanted to make a maxi dress and you needed two or three meters, it will all come in one piece. Um, I don't know names and prices. I don't, I don't do. I don't do prices anymore. I don't do money. Um, but if you have a look on the website um, and underneath where the video is and just scroll down it'll say new in and this is all on the on the new in section um, I can't stress the quality of this I'm so pleased with it it's just beautiful beautiful quality we don't have any panels at the moment Jenny but watch this space because my daughter has been working very hard on our next collection hello Marina in Greece and Glenys in Wales right, let me show you some more these again um, cotton lawns now when we say, oh look it's so brand new, it's got the sticker on stuff. Um, when we say about um, quilting cotton and then cotton poplin, cotton lawn is finer still. So this isn't so fine that it's sheer and see-through, some lawn can be, but it's a very delicate fabric. I wouldn't use this for, um, for quilting, but you could make bags with it, you could do homewares, but I put some interfacing on the back of it just to give it a little bit of sturdiness. Um, we haven't got cream cotton back in stock at the moment, Beverly, I don't think, but we are expecting a delivery from that supplier today, so I'm not sure what Kim's ordered, we'll, we'll have a look. 
Um, looks like watercolour, doesn't it? Like, it's so pretty. So I'm imagining blouses with puff sleeves and ruffles around the edge and long skirts with big pockets. This is my favourite one. It's got berries on it. So we've got strawberries and raspberries and peaches. And again, this is cotton lawn, so it's got a lovely little drape to it. Um, Quarterfinals of the French Open tennis, are they on today? My husband normally follows the tennis. Um, and this, this is the last one of the new stuff. So again, these are all the brand new dressmaking. You'll love this when you get it home, honestly, when you first take it out of your pink package and you feel it, you just, oh yes, that's going to be so nice to work with and so nice to wear next to your skin as well. Anyway, that's enough of newness. But if there's nothing there that floats your boat at the moment, do take a look later on this afternoon because, again, we're, we're expecting the doorbell to be going constantly today. Kimberly has been very busy ordering stuff. Right, you go around there. Okay, we've got... I don't know what's going on, the, on, on YouTube at all. How many people have we got on there? It doesn't look right. I'm not sure what's... Do you had a problem with YouTube on Saturday, didn't we? Hopefully when we get the new website. Cotton Lawn for PJs, lovely, lovely and cool. Um, okay, interfacings. I'm going. To, I'm just going to make a quick bag because I'm, I, I shall literally be in a puddle. It's so hot in here, um, not complaining, love it. Um, I'm going to use some of the butterfly fabric as a pocket and oh susan's got a mulberry fabrics lovely don't make a dress out of that one though, would you susan It'd be a bit stiff caroline's got her package this morning as well lovely um so i'm going to use these two fabrics which are part of a collection Who, whose is that riley blake we'll have a, we'll have a bit of a riley a riley blake going on um, 300 on Facebook, I know, Alana, we're busy, aren't we, considering what a, a nice day it is. I've got 221 on YouTube, but not one comment, so I, I do think we've got a problem there. I shall, I, oh, thank you very much, Lynn. Um, oh, Denise has joined the club, well, come along, do be part of it and let me know what you think of it, won't you? Jan's still got me on YouTube. So, is, am I okay on YouTube, Jan? And can you see any comments? Cause I can't see anything so I'm a bit a bit worried about that one. Oh, oh I haven't had a look on the website either have I well there's websites anybody on the website um, oh hi Marion Marion's there on the website lovely sorry if I missed you oh we've got a few hi Tina and and Karen and oh hi Olive nice to have you back again and Iona thank you very much uh, and Sarah and um, and she, oh, there's lots of you there today. And you're loving me top. Thank you very much. Right, website and pictures perfect. Oh, good, good. Cause we, do, we do have problems sometimes. Um, this is Decaville. It makes a great fan. But this is the Decaville Habit. Now, last week, I just want to show the difference with these. Um, this is the bag that I made using those handles, which will hopefully be here next week. Um, and the mulberry fabric and this is using Decaville Light and there is a video um, where did I put that oh, oh no it's not a video step-by-step -step instructions on the blog so if you go to debbieshawsewing.com and uh, and go to my blog there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this um, I didn't make one in one of the lives but it was one of those days where we weren't going live all over the place um, so that's again using the mulberry fabric and it's it, it kind of decadal like kind of stands up and it gives a nice crisp almost paper like feel to your bag and it's really easy to work with and if you wanted that kind of firmness on a smaller project like um, a cosmetic bag or small boxes and bowls this is absolutely perfect it's really easy to work with as opposed to oh, we've got something to show you as well um bosal foam just want to show the difference with different bags and how that works. Bosal foam is about a quarter of an inch thick and it is very, very soft, but it does stand up firm. But whereas with the Decaville is, is quite almost like leathery, like not leathery, it's quite like papery, it makes things quite stiff. This is very soft and squidgy. This is lovely to quilt into. Um, so if you're 
it, even if you just join in a couple of pieces of fabric together, like with the, the mulberry fabric, and you did a top stitch across it, the stitches sink into the foam and it looks really nice. So that's the difference between Decaville and um, Bosal foam. And then this one, my rucksack, this is from my Builder Baggers book, is um, H640 fusible fleece. So that's softer. If this was made with Bosal, it would stand up. And if it was made with a Decaville, it would be very firm, which in retrospect, I think I would have preferred. But that's, that's what the bag's like with um, H640. H630 is slightly thinner. So those are the fusible foams. This one is the Decaville Firm. Thank you very much pattern matching on the mulberry bag Nikki. Um, so it's quite shiny on one side, that's the adhesive side, and it's quite matte on the other. This does feel quite leathery. Lots of comments on YouTube are there. Let me refresh, because I don't like ignoring you. Anyway, what I was going to say, you know we have these little chats about um, what music you used to like when you were younger. I think we were doing that last week, weren't we? And I said, I, 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 I admitted that 47 years ago, I skived off school to go and see T-Rex. That was me. And I went with um, a friend to Newark to go and see T-Rex. Can't see any comments on YouTube. I'm so, oh, there you are. Oh, now then. Oh, I've, I've got loads. I'm so sorry on YouTube. I've literally only just got your comments up, and I do like to say hello to you. Um, hi, PJ in Kentucky. Um, YouTube's clearer. Oh, Janet's in uh, Turkey. Hello. Uh, do we live? Yes, we do deliver to Turkey, Janet. We can deliver wherever you like. Um, Antigua in the Carib. I was going to say the caravan in the Caribbean. Hello. And um, Paola's in Chile. Donna likes me blouse. Too. We've got Daryl, we have Princess Morningstar, good morning. Um, oh, well, Lynette's fuzzy on and off. Um, hi, Caroline. Oh, I'll go through all of your comments afterwards, I always do, so sorry if I've missed anybody. Um, but, oh, Daisy's in the garden watching, how lovely. Oh. Right, I think what I'll do with YouTube, because it has been a little bit dodgy, um, when, when I get time to sew another day in the week, um, I'm going to do a batch of a whole lot of videos of the things that I've been doing on Facebook. Because some of you complain about the chat, you know. I know. So I thought if I do a video, then um, we can... Um, sorry, I'm missing that. Then you, the, you, you, can, you can follow the tutorial without having to listen to me. Um, who was a listener? Oh, hello do, uh, from Canada, from Linda. Hi. I gave my daughter in the UK a book of yours for her birthday and she loves it for your videos. Is there any way you can include closed captioning? I don't know much about that, but I'm pretty sure that you can do that if you go onto YouTube. I'd love to see the captioning of your beautiful work. I shall have a look into it, Linda, but I, I do think that's something that, that you do. Um, hi, Karina from Holland. Bailey's in Leicester. There used to be a Bay. Did we go to Bailey's in Derby? And then it was Romeo and Juliet's. Yeah. Bay I worked at Bailey's. Oh, what was I giving away? I used I used to do that promotional work that, that um, aspiring young models used to do to try and make some money. And I'm sure it was baby sham or something like that and it was all in little bottles and I was there in little shorts just giving away drinks in Baileys yeah the Beatles at the Granada in Tooting when Roy, Bus Roy, Roy Orbison was top of the bill and you saw the Beatles wow anyway look what I found I've, I've been sorting we've got no we're not moving just yet but I thought we'll, we'll start boxing some stuff up anyway Look, well, I, 1975, it, it could probably do with a wash, to be honest. But I didn't know I'd still got it. Have I got that upside down? Oh, yeah. So there would have been a lot of this going on in Newark in 1975. <laughs> yeah, I've still got that. I never had the top hat, but I've still got the scarf. I might, I might wear it. Um... Closed captioning, thanks for looking that up, Susie. I'll have a look later on. 
Oh, thanks, Jules. Oh, I don't. Not, not very many people complain, but I think a lot of people just they just want to see some sewing. They don't want to be don't want to be chatting. Thank you, Susan. Right. Anyway, so let's do this, shall we? Because where are we? Nearly half past already. So I'll, I'll just make a little tote, mainly just to show you how the um, the decoupage works with the fabrics. So I'm going to need to cut out the pieces first, I think. So let's have this. Let's have this. And I'll put the decaville on afterwards because then it saves a bit of the decaville because I'm not cutting too much off, doesn't it? Uh, Corinne has been making bags for a boat. Patch for bags, lovely. Um, Jax is moving to Devon. Oh, I'm glad you like that. Yeah, we'll carry on. We'll, we'll do both. And that pleases everybody. It's just having the time. Because with the chats, um, which I love doing because I, I like the interaction. I like to hear from you and I like to hear about what you're up to. And <laughs> I do love the top hat as well, Susan. Um, oh, where did you see Rod Stewart? Rod Stewart, when it, in the faces. Oh, Leslie, you're old. Um, Mark in 1971 in Birmingham, Odeon. Well, I, I, I didn't ever forget. I mean, I was such a huge fan, but he did forget the words to Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. And considering that it was like Duggery Dug and Duggery Dug, we dug. Oh, Deborah, you look like a zebra. Duggery Dug. How can you forget that? goodness sake so i kind of went off him i didn't like the blue hair anyway so i went off in there who did you like when you were young <laughs> you're so much younger than me you see <laughs> right so look, if you've if you just joined i've got my mate ruth melting in the corner over there with me who i've known since 1976 I was 16 and 76. Um, 76. 76. We both are so old now. Right, because we were 30 then. Um, so. <laughs> so I'm chopping, I've chopped off the, um, the selvage, because we, we don't do that. Yeah, Jean, I like that, because I, I, I know we, um, I miss quite a few of your questions. I have said before, if you, <laughs> if you really want me to answer something, shout at me in capital letters, like Lisa does. Um, and I tend to notice a bit more. But I've got, um, I actually have three, three screens on the go, all at the same time. So, oh, website looks like it's frozen. Um, I haven't written a ditty book, Olive, but I'm working on a ditty book. Um, no, no ditty. To, I could have brought you a ditty, actually. I could have. I, I have a ditty written. Maybe when my husband comes down with coffee later, I shall ask him to get me ditty. David Essex in '79. Oh, um, yeah. I've got three screens. I was going to say. So I've got the website, and I've got Facebook, and I've got YouTube now, and I've got messages coming up like this all the time. So if I miss, set Cliff Richard. If I miss your uh, comments, then I'm sorry, but I, I will go back again afterwards. Right. So what shape shall we do this one? Something quite, quite delicate, I think. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to, let's make a rectangle first of all. So my rectangle is going to measure, um, let's do 13 inches across. I, I'm, I'm cutting this far too big, but I don't waste any of those bits. I'll, I'll be back with that later on. And I think we'll have it, oh, rulers upside down. Let's do 10 inches deep. Okay. We'll just do a little tote type of bag, just a just a small one for this one, I think. That'll do. Um, maybe we can shape it a little bit. So a little bit like I did with the uh, the bamboo handle bag. So I'm measuring an, an inch from the bottom and tapering it up to the top left corner. Hello, Coffee, Coffee Alley in Tennessee. So let's chop that corner off there. Joyce is in Wyoming. Good morning to you too, Joyce. Jim Pitney in Glasgow. Oh, and I was about 16 ish. Oh, and the stranglers. I, I used to like the stranglers. Golden brown, finer tempress. So that's the outside of the bag. T Rex was the first record I bought. I had 50p pocket money, 5p bus return to town, and the record was 45p. Oh. What was the first record that you ever bought? First one I bought. Um, I, I've got, it was a single, 
and I split the cost with my friend Lynn because we couldn't afford to buy two singles and it was uh, the glitter band Angel Face and we actually shared it so she'd have it for a week and I'd have it for a week and yeah face of an angel so I'm cutting out two lining pieces to the same size and and then oh well then my first album um, it, it was kind of T-Rex but I couldn't afford the genuine but do you remember they they used to do like they went on to do like now um, collections and things we they did a top of the poppers sing and play and I had top of the poppers sing and play T-Rex's greatest hits <laughs> yeah verse ver, versus in blue uh, no it was Venus in blue jeans wasn't it David Cassidy remember my sister was a David Cassidy fan uh, Brotherhood of Man, oh. Steve Miller, Tan, uh, Tina, Tanya Tucker, Tina Tucker, Tanya Tucker, I don't know. Twist and Shout with the Beatles. Oh. Hello, to, hello to you. Brown Sugar, that was another one of my favourites as well. I like, I did like that. Top of the Pops from 1971, Stephanie bought. Right, so I've got two pieces cut to exactly the same size there. Oh, I used to love the Carpenters. Never had any records. Um, Could it be forever? David uh, Cassidy says Jill. Books fizz. No, I'm not. I'm not sure you should admit that one, Sarah. Really. Um, <laughs> from the Co-op, Pink Floyd, Top of the Pops. Donny Osmond. I played football with Donny Osmond once. Mm -hmm. Five-a-side football. At Edge Baston, I did. And Paul Young. She just, just, so I'll put that in there. You know, just. Right. Um, Decoville. <laughs> he died recently, didn't he, Kathleen? Um, Les McEwen, Bay City Rollers. He died, I think it was only about 63, died quite suddenly. Okay, now with the Decoville, you know when you've used. Um, fabrics before like the faux leathers and cork um, and I'll use either the fusible foam the bosal or H640 because you can't iron from the top of the, the PU or from the top of the foam but you can iron through the spongy um, interfacings from the back so if I was going to use that kind of fabric then you iron from the back and just steam and press up and down with the iron you're not really supposed to iron them on from the back but you can do if you use lots of steam with Decaville you can't it's not porous so you won't be able to use this on those kind of fabrics unless you've got something like a 505 spray and you glued it on there but for cottons absolutely perfect if you want to go for any of those wonderful cotton lawns that we've got you can still use this on the bag on the back to make it something really really sturdy so right so we've got that and I've got my iron very hot in fact I haven't at all I haven't switched it on I'm going to get my iron very very hot Kuchaku, Alvin Stardust you're all as old as me aren't you um, Paula Clark buying Hit six in 1987. Stay on these roads by Aha. Oh, and Sarah still got all of hers. Oh, but they're worth a fortune because you can buy record players again now, can't you? They, they, um, they seem to make a resurgence, so you can actually buy vinyls now. <laughs> First single jam bought cost us six, six shillings and eight pence. So hot iron on this one, an iron from the fabric side. There's, it'll take ages for the heat to go through from the back. And just keep ironing, no steam with this one until it's well and truly stuck. And these lines do actually get quite hot. So um, they're not just handy, they're functional and purposeful as well. So particularly around the edges, because that's what's going to go into the seam. So just take your time with that. As hot an iron as your, um, as your fabric will take I'm not going to have a, 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 um, a pocket in this one Ali um, it's more to show you how the um, the interfacing works so I'm not, not putting pockets in we'll be here all day let's cut this out 
and I can go to the edge. It's really easy to work with as well. So although it feels quite stiff, it's very easy to sew through. Nothing special needle-wise, if anything, maybe a denning needle because they're a little bit stronger. All right. Okay, Karina, don't rub it in. <laughs> and, uh, oh no, for goodness sake, I've got a child your age. Um, 1981. So I'm just going over the edges again. She loves you by the Beatles. It was six shillings and four pence. Um, Cheryl, it's a prim mini iron. Um, I, I have, I've got a few of these. I have them near where I'm sewing with my little mat because it means for a start I don't have to stand up and move um, but also if you've got a smaller project or you're just pressing a seam open then you don't have to go and wait for your big iron to, to heat up so they're quite quite handy. Um, will the glue come off onto your iron? Yes it would do so I'm not gluing on I'm not putting my iron on the on the glue bit. So I need to put the the second outer piece on Considering I don't move, I lose an awful lot of stuff. So that's, yeah, that'll fit nicely on there. I'll just chop that down a bit and send it over there. Right, 78. So you would have been Zell Duran Duran and all of those new romantics, I suppose. Oh, let me catch up on, on the website. I may ignore you. Roy Orbison, Pretty Woman with Sheila. Okay, cut around the edge. Heather's born in 73. And then we'll start sewing it together. So really, really simple, easy tote this. Nothing, nothing complicated. Great project for a beginner, won't take very long. And I mean, it, things like this, you could use foams or fleeces or anything, but I just kind of like the feel of the Decaville as being quite stiff. But again, not just the bags. This, this is perfect for, um, for bowls and boxes and things like that, things that you really want to be um, stirred. If you're making a box with a lid, it's nice to have the Decaville in there because it actually keeps it stirred. It's like, like cardboard. Um, hello, Sherry in Wisconsin. Oh, this is the, it's the firm Decaville, Karen. I don't know which one it's called. It's not the Decaville Light. This is the firmer Decaville. On the website, we only do the two, but I'm not sure what the number is. We'll have to have a look. Linda's feeling old. I don't, I don't mind feeling old sometimes. I'm not a fan of the arthritis, but you know. I think we're lucky to get to this age. Right, so that's that, and I think I'm done with the iron. So I've got to, you can see already how firm that actually is compared to fabric without any backing on it whatsoever. No, I don't want antivirus, go away. Um, so that, that's the difference that it makes. It's, it's literally turned the fabric into, um, into something stiff. Um, Ali is new to all of this, can you quilt through it? I, I wouldn't. To be honest, um, Ali, I don't think it's got any benefits whatsoever. If you're going to quilt through something, then make it the foams, make it something like this, where at least you've got something nice and squishy for your stitches to actually sink into. So it, make, it gives like a texture and it gives you more dimension if you're quilting into um, foams or waddings or fusible fleeces. This, this is just like, it's made it like paper. So quilting won't really have any effect on it. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'd, I'd, I've not paid that much attention, to be honest. I thought it was only heavy or light, so I may, may be wrong. Um, looking for Decaville. Decaville in the States, Kathleen says, is available at Barb's Bags. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. My iron is on hot, hot, Gina. Anyway, let's sew this together. Oh, I need to make some handles before I do anything, so I'll do those in the, in the green, I think, so I've got a nice contrast. So again, nothing, nothing too exciting. You've seen this plenty of times before. So I'm going to cut um, two pieces of fabric measuring four inches wide each. Um, 
and I'll measure how long in just a second, but they're going to be quite short handles, the, these ones. All right. So each one of... <laughs> that's me mat gone. Each one of those will measure... Oh, let me just chop that down a little bit. 18 inches. Let me just neaten off the edge of those so they're the same length. Like so. Then we'll need to iron these again. Bottle bags is a nice idea. Um, and then fold in half to the center. I'm not going to put any interfacing on these because it will end up as four pieces of fabric by the time I've folded it. And I don't think it's going to need it. Oh, I have, haven't I? So I'm talking away to you, and I, I should be looking up here, really. Um, so long sides again to the centre. And then we'll hold it. Oh, is it? Oh, Sarah, sorry. Kim, if you're watching, Deckerville Heavy's out of stock. I think she's got some on order anyway. And that, that, that doesn't normally take long to arrive because it's all in the UK so we should have so keep looking out we should have stock in hello from Ohio Buckeye oh first time watching us live welcome along hi Irene so again the same with this one just folding in half and long sides to the center and then we'll top stitch to hold it all in place Joanne sells Deckerville 526 under the Pellon brand. I thought Deckerville under Pellon, because Deckerville's Valuseline, isn't it, would have been competitors. They, they must probably the same, probably the same product, isn't it? Right, I'll be with you in a bit. Okay, so you have, uh, lots of you coming on saying you can buy it in the US. So if you're in the US, don't buy it from us. It's a fortune in postage. You can buy it over there already. Okay, let's sew this thing together. Um, so I'll do top stitching just down both sides of the handle first of all. So I can lengthen the stitch because it's a top stitch, it's not a seam, it doesn't have to be strong. No, I didn't know that Buckeye is a horse chestnut tree. How's that? It's always a school day here, isn't it? Sherry, you'll love your iron. They're really useful. Um, all of my fabrics, not necessarily. Some of them, they, they, Mary, the wholesalers that we deal with are in the UK. We don't import fabrics personally. Um, some of their fabrics are designed and printed in the UK. The digital prints, little Johnny fabrics that we have on the website are printed in the UK. Um, a lot of the fabrics will come from India. Um, my fabrics are printed in Korea, although my not the next fabric range, the one after that is going to be printed in China because we wanted organic cotton and that was the best place to go for it. So the fabrics come from all over the place, to be honest. Um, 505 spray alone will eventually come apart, but not to start with. So if you're using your Decaville and cork, um, it'll hold the two pieces together while you're sewing them, so you're going to be absolutely fine. And by the time you're finished, the, the, you're going to have seams anyway, so the, um, the Decaville is not going to come off the back, so that'll be absolutely fine. 505 spray will disappear. It kind of evaporates after a while. Um, so it's a temporary glue spray. It'll hold the fabric together while you're sewing, and maybe three or four days later, you'll find that it's just disappeared, which is great because it means that you don't have to wash it out, so it's perfect for quilting but it'll certainly hold it together for as long as you're making your project, but it's not permanent. Um, Jack is in a caravan in sun cream. Oh, I'm just doing this a minute. It's getting really warm. Um, first time watch. Hello, Gaina. Nice to hear from you. Right. Let's put this handle on. 
So evenly facing downwards, let's say one, two, three, four inches from each corner, I think would look rather nice. And we'll have a couple of clips in there just to hold it in place for now. And then we'll do the same on this side. Sarah, I don't, I don't kind of sunbathe. I just go brown very quickly. So if I go out for a walk with a dog, I can come back a completely different colour. Um, so I am, I am careful. Um, I wouldn't wash the bag, Ali. I'd, I wouldn't wash any bag, to be honest. I would spot clean it. So if you get a stain on it, then just clean the stain. But I, I wouldn't put a bag in the washing machine, um, personally. You can buy um, protective spray treatments that you can give your bag a spray with to help keep them clean. That may, that may help. Okay, let's, let's plug my machine back in again. That's so straight across. I'm doing well, thank you, Mavis. How are you doing? Bernadette's got a round handles. Um, so they, they are on order, round handles and bamboo handles. So hopefully, hopefully next week. That's twisted. We don't want that, do we? All right. So I'm just stitching these in place, just quite close to the edge, so I can take the clips out while we put the rest of the bag together. Ah, I see, Sandra. You noticed I can't get away with anything, can I? So not now. Um, how should we do it? Should we do it? Let's do it this way. So I'm going to sew. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to sew the top of the lining to the top of the bag right sides together. Oh, Gainer's setting up a craft area in the spare bedroom. Nice idea. And just sew straight across the top. And I'm just using the edge of my foot as a seam allowance. Oh, it's cold in St. Austin. Seven degrees. Oh, gosh. Baking here. And just sew straight across. Sheila, I'm, I'm getting nowhere. We're, we're, we're kind of packing. We're kind of get, getting rid of loads of stuff, which is about time anyway, but we've still got no date, so... A couple of weeks' time, we'll be sitting here on packing boxes and suitcases and nowhere to go yet. Uh, new books aren't in yet, Deborah. I had an email from the buyer at Sewing Street this morning, and they want to launch them on the 27th of um, this month. So they should be in before then. Normally... Normally they all come around about the same time and then Sewing Street get an exclusive so we can't post anything out for a couple of weeks. But nobody's told me that. So I, I'm just kind of thinking as soon as they come in, I, could, I may as well just post them out, haven't I? Um, we are still doing pre-orders, so if you, if you wanted to place an order, just let me know. And if you want something signing, let me know as well. Um, I normally sign all the books anyway, I just put my name in there, but if you want to send me signing specifically to somebody, then send me a message and let me know, um, and I can do that for you. Okay, so I've got two pieces of fabric that look like this, and these are going to sew right sides together, like that, matching the seams at the side. Um, the houses on the shelf behind me, JSHB, are from my Half Yard Club. They're a members project from the Half Yard Club. Right, so right sides together. I'm going to sew all the way around, but leave a gap in the lining so I can turn it the right side out. Let's put my stitch down to 2.4. I was on one that was just a little bit too long. Yes, Deborah, I've got, I've got you down there. In fact, I've already I've printed off all the labels for everybody that's pre-ordered the book, so as soon as they do come in, I can, we can just stick your addresses on and get them out to you. Um, Bolex Spot Remover, not heard of that one. To get tomato stains off kitchen, kitchen totes, that's a good idea. You can see how easy this is. Let me show you to actually sew through. Um, so again, nothing special needed. It feels quite thick and leathery, but please don't use a leather needle on it. 
Um, so maybe a strong needle. I've only got a universal needle in here as well. It's nothing special. So although it feels quite thick and heavy as you're sewing, it's, a, it's no problem. And you don't need any kind of fancy sewing machine to sew on, to sew with either. So basic sewing machine and stretch stitch, you should be fine. So remember to leave the gap at the bottom. Talking about the new book, that, that's um, So Eco. Uh, we do still have, not very much actually, but they, you know, the bamboo toweling that we brought you. It's so lovely. Um, we had white and a blue and like um, a dusky pink, but it's so soft, it's so nice. Uh, yes, Christine, that Canadian uh, smocking book, um, I, I need to complete before the end of the year. So, I mean, and in, in the world of publishing, that's soon. So it should be out next year sometime. Um, I don't have a magazine, Debbie, but I do have books, and you should be able to buy them in Canada. They'll be on Amazon. Right, so I've sewn all the way around. Are we boxing this base, do you think? Do you think we need a, I think we need a box base, don't we? Um, so let's squish those corners. That'd be easier than cutting them out because I've got um, an angle here. So squish the sides so that the side seam sits over the base and I'm going to sew straight across there I'm pushing the seams in opposite directions I'm not pressing them open um, about an, an inch and a half no an inch an inch from the point let's do that one so there's lots of different ways of doing line in Susan but um, oops they all look the same when you've done so right over that thick bit yeah, I like a box corner, Sylvia. Oh, where'd you come? And the same on this one. Gain a sat on a decking. I've frozen. Uh, apologies if you're on the website and you're frozen like I am. Oh, I'm getting very pink, aren't I? Um, no plans for dressmaking patterns at the moment, Tina. To be honest, I, I'm, I'm not a pattern drafter. I've never trained to do that kind of thing. So, no, I, I'm not going to be doing dressmaking patterns. Um, my daughter, on the other hand, who's very much more into dressmaking than I am, you never know one day. Honestly, she's, she's up at the moment. She, I, I see her. Um, I see her down at the office quite a lot, but um, she comes here um, maybe every other week or so, and we'll go back with so many new outfits you wouldn't believe. So yesterday's make was um i'm going to do the same with the lining um a really lovely full skirt she was doing this for minerva she blogs for them so a, a really lovely full skirt and then a top with a square neck and big sleeves and it ties at the back so just a little gap in the middle and it's beautiful so have a look on her blog or instagram page um i don't know if it's on there yet but bound to be on there soon yeah, I'd love to pattern drafts out. It's tight though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, gainer, it depends what kind of sewing you want to do. I've got a few, uh, I think I've got one, two, three, four. I've got six books just concentrating on bags, which are quite easy. Um, but you're right, I do have lots of books on Amazon. I think I've got 25 published books at the moment. Um, so do, um, whatever projects you like, sewing for the home, sewing cushions, or I've even got a bunting book. I've got a bunting book here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so let's chop these corners off there mm. and then Victoria the irons are prim mini iron well, they're on my website Debbie Shaw Sewing uh, <laughs> so now I'm going to turn it the right side out Kim's Instagram is I think it's Kimberly Sews bad isn't it it's either Kimberly Sews or Kimberly Hind now because this is so stiff this is why with the firmer Decaville I'd, I'd, I wouldn't suggest you make very small things um, boxes and things fine but um, makeup bags or things that are very intricate can um, can be quite tricky to turn it through because it is like working with cardboard now it's very stiff but it will be worth it when it all comes through. Maybe I should have left the hole a little bit bigger in the bottom. 
what Kimberly makes. Thank you, Sarah. I think a YouTube's in a different name. I always get confused. Hello, Maya in India. An ice pack used in picnic hall is wrapped up and secreted about my person. <laughs> and I, I would love an ice pack secreted about my person at the moment. I don't have a clamshell bag pattern, I'm afraid, Christine. Gary's actually gone to uh, wait uh, not Waitrose, not that posh. Gone to Morrison's because um, Gary does all the shopping. Yeah, Gary does all the shopping and he does all the cooking and everything because he loves it. And I'm not a fan. It's not living with a chef. It's it's brilliant. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So you can see it's creasing up again, just like it was working with cardboard. Um, but those creases will iron out very easily. I'll do that in just a second. I've got an all in the end, which I need to sew up. Um, so let's do that. Wendy, I've no idea what temperature is, but it's blooming hot. Must be about 24 today. Okay, so I've sewn up the hole push this inside. Now it's quite nice, and I should have thought of this before, if you make the lining a little bit longer, um, it automatically kind of folds over the seam allowance, and you get a nice little border around the top. Um, but you just need to make the lining about half an inch longer. So I'm going to fold that over so I've got the seam on the top. Um, and again, this is just to show you how easy the Decaville is to work with because you wouldn't have thought that it would, you'd be able to fold it and sew it like this, but you can, it works really well. Um, bamboo fabric, warm or cool to wear as a dressing gown. It's just like toweling. You, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know when you feel, it just feels like really, really soft um, toweling. Bamboo fabric tends to be very silky. Um, so it is quite cool to wear, actually. Raining in Renfrew, wow. Right, so I'm just going to sew around the top. Um, I prefer to, no, let's take this off and do it properly. I normally sew from the inside, but um, there is a free arm on this machine, so we should jolly well use it. Lengthen the stitch again, because it's a top stitch, so I'm going up to three. Fold that over so my line is kept nice and neat, and just whiz this around the top. To sew, is it best, Jeanette, to sew in iron-on interfacing to canvas fabric, the mulberry fabric? Um, depends what you're making and what, what kind of interfacing you need. I wouldn't sew like just making interfacing. It doesn't need it. It's quite stiff fabric. Um, but if you want to make a bag and you want it to be quite firm, then yes. If you're making cushions and cushion covers and things like that, then no, don't put any interfacing on it. It's a, it's quite a it's quite a heavy canvas. Um, so uh, cushions, yes. 